right now with Crime Force Tiffany Justice. She heard from someone who says that Bay Area red residents should be prepared to see more protests. Yeah, a lot of people were surprised that the protest was happening. Many were not surprised that the protest was happening. Those were longtime uh, San Francisco residents. But the bridge opened back up. The protesters were removed around the noon hour, and the traffic has been flowing smoothly ever since. The people that I spoke with this morning, it was a, mi a mixed bag of emotions. Many of them were frustrated over their morning routine being impacted by those protesters. Others just kind of went Went with the flow, took it in. I saw a few people grabbing some coffee um, uh, while this was all going through. So it's a really mixed bag of emotions from people who were impacted by that protest who could not go from uh, downtown to Marin County. So across the bridge, and here is more sound from um, impacted residents. I would say, you know, being a really longtime San Francisco resident, I totally respect people's rights to, to protest. And obviously the situation in the Middle East is super complicated. Um, I think it's really great as a society that we express how we feel about this. Um, wish that it wasn't impacting my drive across the Golden Gate Bridge this morning. But, you know, having been here a long time, it's kind of what you come to expect. Yeah, I also caught up with a Palestinian man this morning and today who spoke to me about why he was emotional about today's protest. He moved to the U.S. 35 years ago and he's very sympathetic with the protesters and what they did today. Um, and here is some sound and thoughts from him today. See, people here stop you. Officers, you cannot go see your sister. You cannot go. They put you in jail. They throw you. Nobody care about you. Too much things they do, and yesterday, all over, they taking houses, they bombing houses, and they killing kids and people in jail now. I swear to God, yesterday the news, yesterday in jail, the people, kids, they have no fingers, no, they killing them. I mean, what's he doing, Mr. Biden? He cannot stop this, or what? He is hoping that President Biden will call some sort of ceasefire. Um, but we have been out here all morning gathering information, bringing you live shots of the bridge. As we have mentioned, everything is running very smoothly right now. Right now, it's just a strong sense of calmness. Um, back to you in studio. Mm -hmm.